Hello and welcome. Sorry about the sound. Hello and welcome to Farming Sunday 19. I'm Andy and this is Let's Play on Hoff Bergman map. So we are harvesting. We're harvesting rye and uh, we're putting some rye over here by the mill, which is nice, but um, that's full. That will be doing its thing. So I'll just take this back to our harvester, which is over here. This field and we'll fill it up and then we'll um, go back and empty it into our silo. So I've done one field over there and we're doing this field now. Um, and when this is done we'll have harvested all of the rye we will use. So I'm making some flour because I want to try to bake bread. Um, I haven't tried that yet since I didn't have any rye so it's interesting to see it. So we're gonna do some rye bread, um, but first we're gonna empty this and then go and uh, empty this, take it back, continue the field. Uh, actually, I think that's on a hired helper, so that will continue by itself. But we'll we'll go empty this anyway. Once it's full, it's full. That will be going on its way, and we'll be going to our silo and emptying this. Um, I've done quite a bit. I've been playing qu quite a long, quite a lot since uh, last episode. Um, I did <laughs> screw up with the milk, uh, the cows, and the milk. So I, I was trying to get the milk out of the cows and nothing happened and it, that was the last short episode. But then I uh, sold off all my dairy cows and got some beef cows instead and limousines. And then when I, <laughs> I posted a, a, um, a question in the Giants forum about the uh, cows and seasons and, and Hofbergen and then I got a response after I got rid of all the cow, dairy cows, well not all of them, but everyone except 20 so about 55 of them I got rid um, and then I got a response which was really excellent and makes total sense when I got it it's like well they first have to give, have to get a ca calf a calf before they can give milk which of course I knew but I didn't realize it was that real so um, I have 20 cows now waiting to get calves so they will get some milk and then we'll be able to start over. I'll, I'll start buying some dairy cows after that after when I get make a profit or at least, at least break even with our, our uh, other cows but that's a sort of future project Um, I do have you know, 20, ca no actually 50 calves, so I'm gonna get them beefed up a little bit and then I'm gonna go and s take them to the slaughterhouse and they will get meat which we can sell, which is quite cool, I think. So I can get this loaded. We take this up and uh, get some more rye at the mill. Rye flour. Okay. Sorry. Um, what 
else did I do? I managed to get some poultry um, to the slaughterhouse. So I, when I had the chickens, we were like when they in game they old 2.6 kilos or 2.7 kilos or something. I uh, well maybe it's 2.3. Ah, I don't remember. But anyway, one day I got them, took my uh, my animal trailer and brought them over to the slaughterhouse. You can only put like a hundred of them in at once, but I put them in and then they got slaughtered and they got little trays of of um, whole chickens. <coughs> and then you brought the chickens to your farm shop. I took it to my farm shop. You can take it to other places on the map too. And you sell it there. So that was pretty cool actually. I sold off the ones I have now so I don't have any grown chickens so that will be something for a future episode but not currently and this is where you put it in you just simply back it oh, my backing skills are crappy um, back it up here and then you empty it except it's 8000 already so in here and that's where they show up I think Oh, why isn't it? It's 8,000 liters, it's full. I don't know. Water start on. Actually, 2,000 liters per hour. Okay, so it doesn't really do this fast, does it? Oh, we have one bag here. Uh, which we could actually bring back to our farm. Put it in there. I'm gonna empty this. I think it will stay in there, even though we empty the rest of it into our uh, silo. I think we'll get the right bag out, and then we can bring it into our um, bakery. I want to try it. See if we can get something baked. How much is in one of those bags actually? Well, we'll see that. We get there. So it's kind of fun. So anyway, uh, so I can't get milk until after about a year of the game. Um, which I should have known, and if I had some read that before I sold off most of my dairy cows, I would be wouldn't have to start over with the dairy cows. Well, well that would be a huge project, no problem. I have 20 dairy cows, so we can use those and get some milk, which we can then feed our calves with, which is good. And then we can make them grow fast, and then we can sell those with a profit anyway. So I guess I'm sort of voluntarily involuntarily. I'm going into beef production, which wasn't what I planned, but we'll get to the dairy project products eventually. See if this stays in there. Bag whipped, falls over, falls out. No, it's in there. Let's take this back back to our farm. Actually, we can do it here. Just wanted to get in there. Not the best way to do this, but. Bag of rye flour, we're gonna put that in here. So I don't know how where to put this. Not where the bread goes. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So how do you start this? One bucket of water requires one half sack of flour. 
or packaged yeast. So I think you'd grab like one of these. How do you grab them? Or Okay, that's kind of cool. Get one of those. Put that in there. Uh, grab that one. And in there. That's full. stuff in here on the side, yeah. Okay, maybe that has, that has to be closed. No, okay, so that's in there. Um, what's that doing? Turn on dough mixer. Oh, cool. Uh, I don't know how long that turn off status are. I guess that's gonna be a bit. Then we'll get dumpling, do doplings, what do you call them? Dolings, dolings. Okay, well, we'll go and check on our. this. That was pretty cool actually. Uh, you could drink bread and the shit. Stuff, sorry. We need to harvest our grass also today. And bale the like, straw. We need to bale the straw. We need to bring that back somehow. We There's lots of things we need to do. Straw baling will take a little while, I guess. A lot of straw. But we need it. We need it for our farm and to manage our winter. The straw is definitely something that goes long. We need a lot of straw on this farm. With all the cows and stuff. They use a, t a lot of straw. So, so we're gonna get some a lot bunches making a bunch of straw bales and manage to put them somewhere, which I don't really know where. Somewhere we'll, we'll figure that out. So, I don't know how long it will take to make dough. It should only take like a couple of minutes. It doesn't take much longer in real life. We'll destroy a little bit of the crop here. Sorry, crop. Sorry, crop. I destroyed a little of you. So I'm looking forward to... to um, the calves, calves and see how much money you get for that meat, how much meat you get also. The poultry is kind of, chickens are kind of small, so I made like, what do I mean, 15, 1600 of the 100 chickens, no, 140 chickens I sold. So, uh, which is, 
probably if, if, oh, it was more than if I just sold the chickens by themselves. Uh, most definitely, but it wasn't a ton more. I guess if I sold all 200, I would probably make about twice the money, maybe more. Twice, actually more, I like 800. If I just sell the, the chickens, I get like 800 euros in profit. Um, 1500. So I'm thinking I would probably make, I don't know, between 50, maybe. 2,000 euros if I sold them as meat so probably good idea to do that so you can also make whole grain out of uh, wheat and stuff so we're going to try that also at the mill the whole grain is used for making if you have potatoes and whole I think it's potatoes and whole grain you can make pig food so, and that could be good. We could make pig food and grow pigs. We could take them to the slaughterhouse and, and make meat, turn them into meat too. So, that's definitely something we want to try out. You get over to our farmhouse. Jumping, jumping. Okay, so one there. It's not one each, complete each. Okay, so this probably takes a little while to do. And then you probably put them in here, I'm guessing. Bread dough, and fuel, and then you put... Get your bread, okay. Okay, so that's gonna take a while to do. Might actually not get to that point today. much we have. So we have 161,000 liters of rye, which is quite, quite good. So I set it up uh, using uh, the joy to key pro software also to, so now I can sort of increase and decrease the speed with the joystick. And also, so okay, I, I tried it before on the Let's Play, but it didn't work too well because the nonsense kept, every time I kept snudging it, it went like haywire. Snudging it is not the word, I would think. And nudging it, nudging it is the word I'm looking for. But now it's actually, Holds it pretty okay. So we are making good. We're gonna make m excellent money, I think, on this map now. We could go sell, I mean, 161,000 liters. I think it's 800 per thousand liters. Currently the best price, which would mean, I get my trusty calculator, 800 and I think it was 10, 20 or something, where did I say 810 times 161,000 is 130,000 euros. So just from the rye, if we sold the rye, we would make a pretty decent amount of money. Unloaded. Go eleven first, thirteen. Eleven, it's just unloading, then we'll slow down to ten. Like so 
Okay, it's unloading. So it goes harvesting about 10 kilometers per hour, so running this at 10 is pretty decent. We'll keep the same pace. It does cost a bit of money to run the hide worker, hide helper, but that's okay. Will be more efficient because we can run back and forth with the the trail instead. We can actually fill this up. We'll just move alongside here until it's full. It's almost there. And it's full there. About fifty. So we have this one, this one, and then we have one, two, three fields up south, uh, south, south of the farm. We have two fields up, um, let's see, west, I guess west of the farm. We're east of the farm, and then we have one field north of it. So uh, let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six fields. Very, 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 oh, that was hard a bunch of different sizes left to do. To. see very well. So I'm just sort of winging it. It's uh, been working out so far, but it should be pretty close to the wall there. It's not the best of spaces. Quite narrow. It's like 180 something, 183, 182 thousand liters of Ryan here. Which, if I sold it, would bring me quite a good amount of money. So, um, in real life, I w in real life, I, I, I'm using the joystick and I'm using um, the cruise control setting. So, if I bump it forward the joystick it increases the cruise control setting speed and backwards it decreases so uh, in real life it doesn't work this way uh, from the videos I've seen in real life you you start it out and you bump it up and it starts to go forward if you, you bump back into zero is a stop and then continue bumping it back it will go backwards so in real life it doesn't really work this way but this is the closest I can get using the stuff I have so Sure, that's a very really cool mod, joystick steering mod. I hope there's no such thing around because otherwise I missed it. I don't think there is. I haven't seen it anyway. So, but that would definitely, be, definitely be something cool. Starts emptying. Like so pretty good. I think that's like spot on actually. That's really good speed and spot where it unloads.
So when we fill this up and then go back to our silo, we can actually I'm hoping we could uh, check on our bread. I don't know if we have all 10 pieces yet, but we have should have some bread which we can put in the oven and cook. And then sell. Hey, I'm actually making bread. That's pretty sweet. So it's getting there. I mean, FS17 half bourbon was truly amazing when it came to all all the scripts you used and all the stuff you could do on that that kind of that map. It was really really nice. Uh, we're slowly getting there in FS19. I, uh, I think I, I talked about this on earlier episodes. I actually think the iterations of farming simulator should be once every third year. And the logic between behind that is that uh, I think that I mean, first year pretty much nothing really happens. You get a few maps, a few mods, but not too much. The, the cool, really cool stuff happens year two and late year two unfortunately with fs19 i think fs17 was a bit earlier when it came to the cool mods that came out uh, it's taken a bit longer for fs19 um i still think the one of the best mods seasons is slowly it's actually getting to the what's that called soil mod crop soil i think it was like soil mod for fs15 was really excellent when you had to spray different herbicides on different weeds and everything and there was that's a truly amazing mod. Um, seasons are is getting there. Still, no, you don't have to choose your um, herbicides like in FS the soil mod, but getting there slowly. Actually, a lot of the mods where FS15 and FS17 are, in my point of view, much better than the FS19 mods. We might get there, but I think the iterations was too short. Everyone is waiting for FS2. Uh, FS20 we're starting to expect FS20 and then we'll start over again and to me that's sort of I think that's a bit sad because I don't think I think we could we hold on a bit and uh, one more year we will get more mods and cooler stuff which could be used and implemented in farming simulator the real game too I believe so I think the yeah, giants would s would win at it I guess they they need to sell games uh, which is, I guess, a problem. You don't, but I think you c they could probably win in the long run. Uh, the game would be better, in a way, is, from, is what I think. I would think it would get better, anyway. But uh, who knows? I don't think they're actually caring that much about my points, <laughs> or my point of view. And, but I do definitely think it would improve the game if uh, if we had longer iterations. I think three years would be best iteration. Then we get a good year at least where you had really good mods. Uh, which you can then use and bring into the next game or next iteration of the game. But that's um, my my perspective and my point of view. I think, as I said, some of the coolest mods I've ever seen for Farming Simulator was for FS15, and they disappeared with FS17, and they never came back. And the seasons mod never came back in the way it did. So the, the cool mod. So some some mods are cooler. Graphics are nicer, of course. But uh, graphics isn't everything. Gameplay is also very important. So, from my point of view, my humble point of view, and I'm not a game developer, so I have no idea what goes into doing this or doing mods. I think I just do this silly uh, YouTube channel where I play a farmer. Let's see. I'm gonna go check on the bread, and I'm not thinking we're gonna end this episode. I'm way off there. Oh, it worked. I'll just skip across here. So 
got some bread here. Yay, we got some bread. It's really cool. I see that's 50%, that's 100. So I should be able to put this in here. Or. Oh, okay. How do I turn it on? Red dough pieces. Okay, I'm doing something wrong here. Need to put it up here? No, okay. I need to put it up there. Ah, oh, okay, so, ah, oh, I get it. So, put it up here and then it. Um, Expands, not expand, that's not the correct term. And then you put it down there to break it, I'm guessing. Well, we'll check on that on the next episode. Um, so, anyway, thank you for watching. I'm Andy, this has been Let's Play on the Hofbergman map for Farming Simulator 19. If you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this episode, please hit the like button, leave a comment, or share. Take care, bye bye.